Hello, my name is Raju, lecturer in economics. Today we will discuss about the price determination and the perfect competition market. Right? So, topic is price determination and perfect competition. So, in the perfect competition market, there exist large number of buyers and large number of sellers. That means, the price in the perfect competition market, goods produced by large number of produce, producers, that goods purchased by the large number of buyers. So, in the perfect competition market, there exist large number of buyers and sellers. The goods are homogeneous. Homogeneous. That means, homogeneous means, Goods are similar goods produced under perfect competition market. That is the reason price is remaining same under perfect competition market. So, in the perfect competition market, there exists large number of buyers and large number of sellers. And goods are homogeneous. That is the reason price is remaining same. And there exists free entry and free exit to the firms in the industry. That means, when firms are getting the more profit, the new firm enter into the industry. When firms are getting the losses, existing firm exit from the industry. This type of market we consider as perfect competition market. So, we will discuss about the price determination under perfect competition market. Before the price determination, we will discuss about the what are the features of perfect competition market. Once again, in the perfect competition market, there exist large number of buyers and sellers. Goods are homogeneous. Price is remaining same. Absence of transportation cost. Okay. Free entry and exit. Such type of market is called perfect competition market. But actually the perfect competition market never exists in real life. Because perfect competition market is a dream of traditional economist. So it is an imaginary market and it is an ideal market. But most of the features of the perfect competition markets are related to agriculture sector and share markets. But anyhow, we will discuss about the price determination under perfect competition market. Under perfect competition market, price decided by demand and supply. Because to understand about the, we will discuss about the law of demand and law of supply. According to law of demand, when price increases, demand decreases. When price decreases, demand increases. That means there exists a negative relation between price and demand. And according to law of supply, when price increases, supply also increases. When price decreases, supply also decreases. There exists a positive relation between price and supply. The two opposite forces, demand supply, where the both demand and supply are equal, that position equilibrium, equilibrium price is determined under perfect competition market. The equilibrium price under perfect competition market, we can understand easily with the help of a schedule. That means, by combining use of the demand schedule and supply schedule, we can understand the price determination under perfect competition market. So, here, right, we are using the demand and uh, supply schedule. Here, just we are using the three columns. One is price, the second one is demand, third one is supply. Just we are using the price 1, 2, 3, 4, price. According to law of demand, there exists a negative relation between price and demand. Here price increases, demand is decreased. Just we write the these numbers in reverse order. Okay. Like 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Just we add zeros to this demand. That means this indicates there exists a negative relation between price and demand. Because here price increases demand decreases. Price decreases, demand increases. So, this shows the negative relation between price and demand. And uh, we will understand about the relation between price and supply. Here price increases, supply also increases because there exists a 
positive relation between price and supply. When price increases, supply should increase. So you write the price as it is here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Just you add the zeros here. Then you will get the demand schedule and supply schedule. So in perfect competition market, price decided by the market like where the demand equal to supply that position equilibrium price is determined under perfect competition market here price is okay price is rupees 3 demand equal to 30 okay supply equal to 30 that means demand equal to supply where the demand equal to supply the equilibrium price rupees 3 decided by the market okay so in the perfect competition market industry is the price maker okay all forms are price takers that means price decided by the industry that price followed by the all firms in the industry okay the price determination under perfect competition market we can understand easily with help of the demand schedule sorry with help of the demand curve and supply curve also okay so here just we are taking the a graph just you like the DD is called the demand curve, SS is the supply curve. Okay, when price is rupees 3, okay, demand and uh, supply is 30. Okay, here price is measured on y axis, where the demand two opposite forces, demand and supply, intersecting each other. So the intersecting position indicates demand equal to supply, where the demand equal to supply, that position price is determined. We can understand easily. With the help of the graph just you observe my hand movement the demand and supply is shown on x-axis price is shown on y-axis dd is called demand curve it slope downwards from left to right okay so the demand curve shows the negative relation between price and demand ss is the supply curve it slope upwards from left to right it shows the positive relation between okay now positive relation between price and supply the two opposite forces demand and supply both are intersecting at price is rupees 3. So here demand is equal to supply. It's satisfying that D is equal to S. So at that position, the two opposite forces where the meet they be, where the meet each other, that position equilibrium price is determined. Here in this graph, equilibrium price. Okay now. Equilibrium price is rupees 3. This equilibrium price decided by the demand and supply, that price followed by the all firms. That means in the perfect competition market, price decided by the industry, that price followed by the all firms. But actually, in our real life, we can't see the perfect competition market because perfect competition market is a dream of traditional economics. Okay, thank you. If you have any doubt about the price determination in perfect competition market, you just to uh, dial my number 8328042918. My name is Raju. My qualification is PMA. Okay, set qualified. Okay, thank you.